Hello, my name is Neil Ide from Skyway Software, and I'm going to take you through the setup of a sandbox for deploying your Spring MVC or Spring Webflow applications. Now, for this demonstration, I'm actually going to use the MySQL database, and uh, I'm also going to assume that you already have that database running and that you're already able to log into that database. Um, and one of the additional things that you'll need in order to be able to access this database from within inside of Eclipse or in from your applications that are going to use this database is a JDBC driver for MySQL and that can be downloaded directly from the MySQL website. Um, we're also going to need a container for our application server and for this demonstration we're going to use the Apache Tomcat container which is available from the Apache website and uh, specifically we're going to be using the latest version of 6.0 which is 6.0.20 and I'm going to go ahead and download this zip file right here. Now I've already downloaded these files and so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at right here. This is my JDBC driver. It's a jar file and this is the Tomcat download and what I'm going to do is just really quickly unzip this to my local file system um, because I'll need it unzipped in order to be able to use it from within Eclipse. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to log into my database using the appropriate database tool. In this case, since I'm using MySQL, I'm using the MySQL Query Browser. And I'm actually going to create a schema specific for my sandbox. So I will right click on here, select Create New Schema, and enter a name. Any name is fine, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use the name of Sandbox. Click OK and now my database schema is good to go. Now from within Eclipse, uh, I already I have the Skyway Builder plugins, but the steps that I'm going through here are really independent of Skyway Builder. Skyway Builder will generate the applications for you, but the setup of the sandbox really is, is uh, not entirely related to Skyway Builder. But I'm going to go to the window menu, select Show View, and select on the Data Source Explorer. And from the Data Source Explorer, I'm going to add a new database connection. And since I'm using MySQL, I will go ahead and click on MySQL, and I will call give this a name of my database. And I will click Next, and then I'm going to need to configure the, uh, the driver. So this is where I click on this little icon right here, New Driver Definition. And since I'm using MySQL 5.1, I'll click on here, and you'll get a message saying that it can't find the jar file. And that's because I need to go ahead and point this definition at the jar file that I downloaded to, you know, and, uh, to my file system. So I'll go ahead and click Edit here, and I'll go ahead and pick that jar file that's in my file system. Click OK press OK and then I'm good to go. And now I'll need to go ahead and set up the individual settings for the connection. So the database that I created was called Sandbox. The I'll go ahead and enter that here and here. And I'm going to go ahead and use the root user and I'm going to use the password that I used with my database. I'll go ahead and enter just save password and then I'll click on test connection to verify that I can actually connect to the database. And if you get a ping failed, um, the most likely cause is that uh, you didn't start the database, that the database you know, ha isn't running. So you may want to restart the database and then try again and you should be good to go. Next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and click here, click finish, and now I have a database connection here pointing to my sandbox database. And the last thing that I need to do is to set up my server. So I'll go ahead and switch to the server tab, right click and say new server. And in this case, I'm going to do the Apache Tomcat server. So I'll go ahead and open up the Apache folder, select Tomcat 6.0 server, um, click next. and I will be prompted for the location of the folder. So I'll go ahead and navigate to my file system, select How To, the expanded Apache Tomcat folder, click OK, Next, Finish, and now the Tomcat server is set up and good to go and I don't have any applications running in this environment yet but if I wanted to I could go ahead and say add my application to that server by right clicking on there and selecting add or remove projects and in this case because I don't have any projects it's giving me a message saying I can't take you to that wizard but that is pretty much the steps for setting up a sandbox development environment with uh, inside of Eclipse thank you